Lego Ideas is full of fan designers, fun concepts, but several submissions new for this year are already proving hugely popular because they're simply awesome. Let's check them out. First up, we have the Iron Giant in the forest already with over 9,000 supporters. This has done so well. It's really impressive. It's going to get to 10K in no time at all. Now, I'll admit, I've not seen the animated film that this is based on. I've looked it up. Apparently came out in 1999 and certainly seems to be rated highly. So one that I must go and watch. But you certainly don't need to have seen it to appreciate just how cool this actually looks. I really like the styling of the robot and of course the maneuverability of it. Being able to position it in ways such as this is something that LEGO themselves struggle with in a lot of their sets they design themselves. So it's really nice to see. I'm also liking the contrast between obviously the different greys of the robot itself and just the simple colours on the base plate. Now, as always, I want you to let me know what you think of these in the comments down below. But I think it really says something when, if you're like me and you haven't actually seen the source matter which the design is based on, but then you see a fan design like this and it makes you actually want to go and watch it, I can't give much higher praise than that. It's different, it's cool, it's quirky, and just overall really well thought out. Given how quickly it's already reached this level of support, I think this is going to hit 10,000 in no time flat. Next up, something very different, the Roman Thermae, or Roman Bath. This has got to be one of my absolute favourite parts of history, and I would really like to see a lot of different Roman sets actually get made. There's been quite a few different submissions so far, but this is beautifully done. Obviously an imposing, impressive size model, filled with texture. I'm loving the architecture, the way that it's been done. And of course the cobbled street outside, lending a beautiful contrasting pattern to the tiles of the roof. This sort of building really was a cornerstone of Roman life. And I just think it's been so well done. It's one of those sets that, unless it just had an absolutely ridiculous price on it, which it certainly shouldn't, I would go out and buy on day one. I especially like the inclusion of the aqueduct at the back because, of course, that is how the water was brought in to the baths. And yet it would so easily be something to exclude. I'm really pleased the designer has put it in there. The Romans didn't invent the aqueduct. It was used hundreds of years earlier by countries in the Middle East. But they are the ones who built them best, developed them. It's because of them that this allowed civilization to grow and stretch as it did. So I think this is an important model. I think that it's a fantastically designed model and it's going to look brilliant on display. I just really want Lego to lean in and give us quite a few different Roman sets. It would be awesome. Of course, if that doesn't do it for you, perhaps the cliffside house will. I really like the concept of any Lego model that can actually be hung directly onto the wall. And I think it's more the concept rather than the design itself that gets my appreciation here. Don't get me wrong, I like it. I think it's pretty cool looking, but it's not blowing me away. Sure, the inside is packed full of really nice details, great colours, just overall something that clearly has had a lot of time and attention. The outside, I feel, lacks some of the character that the inside has. This is almost a little mini world. The exterior, I do feel, could be improved. But that's by the by. I'm just grateful that this designer is adding a build like this onto Lego Ideas. It's super cool and I'd really like to see a lot more like it. We don't all have endless amounts of shelf space or furniture to put things on. Having stuff specifically designed to be put onto the wall rather than having to modify and retrofit something just having it pre-done, ready to go out of the box, that is brilliant. I mean, after all, multiple versions of LEGO Masters around the world now have done build challenges where they're supposed to create incredible builds hanging off of just a few Technic bricks. Now, of course, we're never going to get or need anything as ridiculous as those. But as a base concept, something else that's really different. I'm so glad to see it as a LEGO Ideas submission. And it would be nice if more fan designers gave us lots more like this. It's the sort of thing that I think could work really well as an official Lego set and it would be great to get them. So it's off to a good start, but of course, as for all of these, if you like it and you want to support it, head on over to Lego Ideas and make sure to do so. My next choice that made me stop and stare, of course, also from earlier this year, is the Legotto Roboto. 
and this is just awesome looking. Based off of the original tin robots from back in the 1940s and 50s, which you could wind up and let go, it's not a toy that I ever had. I am of a much later generation. Nonetheless, this is what started it all off, and you can't deny that they were certainly cool looking. So to get this in Lego form, I think it's a fantastic homage to those. And having that playability, it's just fantastic. Really cleverly thought out. Now, how many pieces is this? 1,200, nine inches tall. It's a reasonable size, but not too big. Again, something that if it did ever get chosen by Lego, shouldn't be an unreasonable price. And whilst it might not be for everybody, I just think it is different enough from things we've had in the past. It's fun looking. The sort of thing that once you've got built and have on display, it's just going to make you smile each time you look at it, isn't it? Well, clearly I'm not alone in feeling that way. It's already achieved over 8,000 supporters in respectively a very short time frame. So another one that I'm convinced is going to get to 10,000 very, very soon. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And of course, will you be heading on over to lend it your support too? Quite frankly, if it wasn't for the original toys like this, all of the different robots, mechs, you know, whether it's Transformers, whatever it is that came after it, all those decades later, they wouldn't have existed. Or at least it's a lot less likely that they would have, certainly in the forms that they took on. So much of that influence can be traced back to this. So yeah, I do think that this deserves to be put into Lego, and I think it looks dang good doing it. Moving on now though, we come to our working River Rapids ride, the Fairground Rafting Coaster. I mean, that is a title and a half. It kind of feels like a bit of a tongue twister in the making. This is one by Baron von Baron, who I've featured in quite a few videos in the past with some rather impressive builds. And this one is no exception. These sorts of rapid ring rides, they were some of my favorites as a kid. How awesome would this actually be to have as a Lego set? It's not motorized out of the box. You can obviously do it manually. Alternatively, it can be motorized quite easily, as per what you can see in the description down here if you actually want to go through and read this. 3,000 pieces, so it is topping it out. One of the largest models, and yes, it would be fairly pricey, but come on. What an amazing display piece this would be, especially if you did motorize it. That is what I would end up doing. Super fun and so cleverly done. I just want this to be made so I can actually see how that it's been built, you know, hands on. I think there's quite a bit to be learned from this. And rides are fun. I mean, obviously, Lego has given us a few different roller coasters, some better than others. It would be nice to have an actual ride that isn't a roller coaster. I think this, alongside the other design uh, that was proposed of the working log flume, it would just look so good next to each other. So personally, I want to see this get to 10,000. I suspect that it will. Definitely one that I feel is worth supporting. And then this, a staff pick and something that is just super cute, the floating sea otter. How adorable does this look? I just want there to also be a little fish here that's being held in one paw, you know, ready for a little snack. That would be super cool. But again, one that has a lot of movability. You can really change the expression and the character of this. So the front and back paws are movable. So is the head and the jaw. So you can really capture some different personality in this set. One that would be super cute to have on display. Now, I'm not sure how many parts actually make this up, does it say? Not that I can see in the description. Doesn't look like too many though. So again, not one that I think should be too expensive. And this is the sort of thing I can, I can imagine Lego doing. You know, if it does achieve support, I'm saying if, let's be frank, when it achieves support, it's gonna do it. I think it stands a good chance. Obviously depend what it's up against in its particular review phase, but it's that nice blend of different from what we've seen before, but not totally out there. This would fit in quite nicely uh, with some of the sets that Lego have already chosen. Even the likes of the winner of that GWP challenge from a couple of weeks back now, you know, the little snails. It's just a fun, sweet build, not too difficult, but with a lot of impact. And another one that would certainly be raiding my wallet because yes, I would have to go out and buy this if it ever got made. But there we go. Those are just a few of the top ones gaining really significant popularity in a short space of time. I'll highlight a few more next month as well. But for now though, let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to vote for them if you like them. And do the same for me. Hit like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.